We know you love your Chemex. Well, now they've come out with something new, Automatic. It's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and I'm here to do a review on the Automatic O-T-T-O-M-A-T-I-C by Chemex, and it is a brewer. It takes the old Chemex carafe, and what it does is it adds the heating element, reservoir, uh, the arm, disbursement, and all of that over your Chemex so that you're not standing there going like this. So, let me give you the features on it. It's an eight cup maximum, and they're five ounce cups. It comes with the six cup carafe, just so you know. If you have an eight cup carafe, you can use it with it, or if you have a smaller one, you can use it as well. But just don't take the six cup that it comes with and brew eight. We did that the first time around. Bloop, everywhere. Uh, it features uh, the right temperature is what the premise of this is, uh, like most brewers these days, between 195 and 204 is the proper temperature, and it does that. It's got a heating plate down here as well that keeps your coffee hot after it's brewed. It's really a nice casing. This is metal, this is metal, some plastic in here, plastic obviously, uh, but geez, I, who doesn't like the form and function of this? It also comes with a lid for the carafe when you get done. There's a lid that comes with it. The descaling solution, one time. The manual, of course, and a sample pack of the filters that are appropriate for the six cup. And there isn't a choice at this point. You're gonna take the one with the wood handle. That's how, what it comes with when you're ordering. I, we've had that question already. So um, we prepared up some Tangle Town and we used the proportions that they say here in the book and they do have a chart for what they recommend for proportions and for the six cup, 55 grams of coffee. Ground just as you would for a typical Chemex on the coarser side. And um, typically with the Chemex, when I make it, I pre-moisten the filter ahead of time. They don't talk about it in the manual, in the instructions, so we're not gonna do that for a fair comparison. We are going to just brew this up and we'll come back and do a taste test. One thing to note, when you turn this on to brew, it's red. When the water is all depleted and the brew is done, it turns white. So let's uh, pause here. We'll get a cup, we'll come back, and we'll see what it tastes like. Okay, so the light has turned white. That means our brew is done. That means all the water has passed through. You probably still get a little bit of dribble. Bear in mind with this, uh, one of the things that I noticed about it, and I took this home and played with it. Yep, I sure did. Uh, if you are the type of person that likes to get a cup of coffee mid-brew, this is like any other Chemex, you're not gonna do that. You just can't. You gotta let it do its whole thing. The other thing I noticed was, for a person, now my hands are not real small, but I do have a fair amount of arthritis. This is a heavy, carafe now and this is kind of bulky so I found that as I was pouring I tended to do a two-fisted kind of a thing so that I didn't end up wearing it. That's another f thing that I found out is if you pour it too fast it over stretches the boundaries of this trough and go comes out over here so you got to pour it just a little bit slower. A couple of things to think about. Let's see what it tastes like. That's a biggie right there. That's a good proportion. Uh, the ratio was very good. Liking it. I could drink this without my half and half, my signature half and half. So, pros and cons. Pro, very nice looking. Smaller profile than some of the others. I think it's one of the best looking coffee makers I've seen in a long time. And the Chemex, the whole package is very nice. Very nice on the countertop. A nice presentation if you have guests over. Cons. The hand around the carafe, can't get your cup mid-brew. So, if you like pour-over Chemex, this is perfect for you. But if you happen to not want to wait, or if you can't get your hand around it, if you happen to have the Chemex with a glass handle, you can still use it in here, and I think that's what would work best for me. Won't look quite as styling, but not bad. So that's the uh, Otto, O-T-T-O-M-A-T-I-C by Chemex.
check it out on our webpage. All the stats are on there. You know, everything you need to know about it. And thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and comments down below. Let us know what you think. Have a good day. Thank you.